You know when someone just comes in with great energy? Yes, I We do. are so happy to start mm -hmm. our week off with one of our favorite people, Golden Globe and Emmy-winning actress, Kira Sedgwick. Kira is starring in a new play here in New York. It's called All of Me, which looks incredible. We're so happy you're here. By the way, Thank you walk you. in, you dance to the music in the commercial, <laughs> you have a lightness about you. I mean, this is just kind of how you travel your way through life. Is this what you do? I mean... Any chance to dance, I'm going to go for it. I just think that life is so hard, and right now is so crazy. Yeah. That, like, I'm going to rock with you all night. Dance to into the sunlight. Oh, see, Wait, that, we need, we gotta we need yes. to do that, that energy. Yes. Because but the world is crazy. So crazy. We're having a little turmoil in our own homes <laughs> with young children. Right. Yeah. How, you wow. have... Yeah. Grown children. I have such grown children. I can't yes. believe they're so grown. Well, they're, Me neither. In their 30s, is that right? They're 32 and 33, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I'm in denial of time passing. So how did you change the energy yeah. when things were young, when they Honestly. were young and things were wild? Man, I don't know. It's so hard. It's <laughs> such a hard transition. It really is. Yeah. Because you go from needing, first of all, you go from being able to fix everything to totally not being able yeah. to fix anything. Yeah. You get, you go from, I have the right to tell you what to do to I definitely don't have the right <laughs> to tell you what to do. Offered information, you know, like suggestions or sometimes like, you know, another way to be hostile, I yes. think, you yeah. know, like the loving suggestion thing. Yes. Um, so it's, it is definitely a constant, it's a constant like, I'm going to go into the dance. I'm going to step out of the dance. Yeah. I'm going to go into the dance. And, like, then you have to take their, your cues from them. So, I don't know. I, I can't. I have no secrets except that you just try to figure it out a day at a time and yeah. hope that they still want to hang out with you. Totally. Were you and Kevin a united front when it came to parenting? For sure. How did you, you have to you be, plan, Did right? you plan that out? You say? know, we, I don't think we planned it. I just think that we are similar in that way. Yeah. We're like, this is important. This is less important. Yeah. I mean, I really don't think that we ever thought something, you know, felt very differently about the way to parent the kids, but also to, like, discipline them or yeah. not discipline them. By or... the way, your relationship with him is so fun. Even the little bits you show on Instagram <laughs> or whatever. I like the other one that you just showed. There's a caption that that you wrote, and they they say, after you've been together for a while, you start to look alike. Oh, God. I don't know. Why. <laughs> well, what is happening Wait, there? <laughs> you do look alike. You do. Right? What's People going tell on? you that. No. You I don't, don't think you do? I don't think we look alike. Well, with the glasses and the little do, well, teeth. Well, dress the same. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, same. that, we <laughs> did that for that. I mean, I literally was wearing his tank top and his jeans, which is a little oh, scary that I can fit into his tank top and his jeans, <laughs> but never mind. When he was here the last yeah. time, he spoke so lovingly yeah. about you, and, he, and it was something so small. He said that he had a blister, yeah. and that you kind of stopped and put a band, like that it <laughs> right. really is about little. the It's little a little thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's the tiny thing. <laughs> it's the tiniest of things. Yeah, totally. It's so sweet. I mean, I love that. And I also love how you don't feel like a Hollywood couple. I mean, we were saying that we were down underground <laughs> on the one train, and yeah. I was like, hey, Kira. You're like, hey. We were just walking through. But there's something about you and your husband that doesn't seem like Hollywood. Has, has that been also kind of a, I don't know, conscientious, conscientious effort? I mean, I don't know. You know, I, I just, I think, well, we you know, I was raised in New York. He was raised in Philly. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, we brought our kids up in New York. I don't know. I, I, I'm not really sure. It's what we do. It's not who we are. Yeah. Right? I don't. Yeah. I don't, yeah. yeah I don't really know. Mm -hmm. I think we've just sort of always had the same priorities, which was like, keep your, you know, keep your feet on the ground. Yeah. Plus, like our, our work lives. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not like it's been easy and, you know, yeah. it's, it's, Longevity is hard. Yeah, like, yeah. you have to keep on working on yeah. trying to get a job, trying to get a job. So, like, there's no, like, fantasy of, like, life is so easy and, you know, Hollywood is so easy and movies are so easy. It's, yeah. like, it's all just a yeah, lot of work. A, a lot of work. Um, yeah. Okay, this play yes. looks so beautiful and family really is at the heart of it. Totally. Talk up, tell us about it. Totally. Um, it is a romantic comedy slash dysfunctional family <laughs> story, which, you know, Life. I'm a big fan yeah. of. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it's very funny. It's very moving. 
it um, it also has two disabled actors in leads who are the romantic leads. Oh my God, I love mm -hmm. that. And they use something called AAC technology, which is talk to text, text to talk technology. So okay. they're so they're wow. doing typing, and it's coming out, you know, like the Stephen wow. Hawkins. Yeah. Then yeah, yeah. One has a voice that's a little more. Yeah. And it really supports the comedy. Oh my God. And it's something that we've never seen before, and it's. Just they're great, and the show is wonderful. Where can you see the show? It's at the New Group. Yeah, um, we uh -huh. start performances April twenty third, but we'll just be in previews for a couple of weeks, and then we open right around um, Mother's Day. And the New Group is on Forty Second Street yeah. between tenth and eleventh. Yeah, I think, amazing. Actually. Well, if you cool. guys are in New York, yes, you see this. It's supposed to be incredible. Kira, we can't wait. Thank you, thank but you're you. going to stick around. You're not leaving us. You're going to let us snoop your social. <laughs> All right, Coming let's up do it after this. <laughs> We are back with actress Kira Sedgwick, whose Instagram account is a must-follow. All right, you and Kevin are always doing some kind of crazy things, so can we snoop your socials? Sure. Is that all right? Sure. All we right. feel a little weird, but you said it was okay. Yes, was indeed, we, indeed. We're detectives. Okay. okay, so we're going to show you a photo or video from your Instagram page, and then you can just tell us what's happening. Okay. okay. Does that sound good? All yes. right. The first one is a family affair. It's all you guys singing a cappella. Mm. No, no, you're with singing alpacas. with alpacas. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. You're I singing love you. acapella with, with the alpacas. alpacas. With the alpacas. That was the tongue Wait, twist. Okay, what here it is. We were doing one of those goat songs <laughs> thing, and the kids were there uncharacteristically. Wait, one of those goat song things? No, well, okay, so they Kevin like to started sing with this. The goats. Yeah, there were the, he sings with the animals, and so, and so we, we, you know, we were all together, which was unusual, and um, Travis's girlfriend, Angie, is there too, and Travis and Sosie are there, and Kevin and Kira are there, and our incredible alpacas, and Sosie's boyfriend is shooting and it was I don't know who came up with that song but it was really hilarious. fun it took me a really long time to get it on the ukulele <laughs> and it was hilarious and we probably did 30 takes have you guys <laughs> always played instruments or is this new for Kevin you? Kevin yes. and, yeah, and yeah. Travis have always yes. and Sosie too actually but he gave me my ukulele when I was 40. Mm -hmm. And you so, started taking lessons? And I started taking lessons. Cool. I play very mediocrely. But, but it's I, fine. I, I still play. play. Yeah, yes, I like I it. play. Okay, the next one is really great. It's you and Kevin dancing together. Aww. So this, stay in the heart? <laughs> so this is, yeah, we're dancing in the heart. So this was apparently like a TikTok viral thing that, because Kev's always got his finger on the pulse <laughs> of all of it. So he's like, this is, it was a Valentine's Day oh, thing. Oh, cute. Okay, that's yeah. the cutest. What yeah. are those cards you laid out? Yeah, you're supposed to, t you, you cut the cards in half. You oh. cut the 52 cards in half. And then you put, and then one goes this way, one oh. goes this way. You make a heart we and then you dance. Done that. That. You well, you should have done that. should have done that. Couple. Next yeah, year, couple. you really are. Did your kids ever get embarrassed by y'all's love? Because our kids hate it yeah, when we course. make out. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. <laughs> no, definitely, definitely. And I'm sure it must be such an annoying thing. Everyone going, you parents have never been such a long time. So good. It must be like a little bit of a pressure. <laughs> exactly. I bet they also love it. Yeah. All right, we've got a throwback photo. Is this the very first photo of you guys? Let's take a look. Yeah. Where's so it? we were doing oh, a, a TV movie for PBS called um, Lemon Sky, oh. and this is both of us in costume. He had a huge crush on me. I had no idea. Um, and he, he kept trying, every, after every day of shooting, he was like, hey, everybody, you want to go out for dinner? <laughs> and I'd be like, no, I'm going to go home and work. And so then he'd go out with everybody else, pay for the check. Every, oh, no. And then the next day he'd be like, hey, guys, you want to go out for dinner? I was like, no, it's the only one in the cast that said no. He was always, anyway, <laughs> He finally. just hoped and hoped that he one hoped day you would hoped. say and yes. Did then you what, say yes then? Uh, no, then, then, I mean, do you have a few minutes? Yeah. Okay. So this story is that, you know, we were staying at, we were working together they're staying at separate hotels and he said to me one day have you ever had a massage which is quite a line but I was like I haven't and then he goes there's this really great massage therapist at my hotel and I was like great I'll get a massage at your hotel and he goes hey and if you happen to be finished with your massage after I'm finished in the gym because that's where you get your massage we could go out to dinner huh and I'm like okay that's not gonna happen I get out of my massage and there he is like oh working out on the stairmaster but I'm done now I want to get dinner and I'm like how did that happen turns out later he actually called the hotel and found out what time my oh, massage was, was over. And, then and then we went went. out to dinner because I was trapped I had to go out it to shows dinner. you, you that to. stalking friendly stalking <laughs> can works. sometimes work sometimes yeah oh my gosh. the big payoff I love Here, it. we adore thank you, you so thank much you, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. and if y'all are in New York you can catch Kira and all of me it is opening May 12th previews begin April 23rd